Hello and welcome to a narrated video tour for 2546 Brunswick Street in Halifax, Nova Scotia on the peninsula of Halifax in the North End. Just going to do a quick 360 here. So you are right smack dab in the middle of the peninsula. So lots of different houses around. You have heritage homes, townhomes, fully detached, semi-detached, and that's what this uh, property is. To get to downtown Halifax, it'll probably take you 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast you walk. You also have access to one of the bridges just right there, at the end of the street. So there's public transit, community centers, lots of great things in this area. So what we have here, so this is a semi-detached home, the one on the right, right there. Uh, it is all ready to go, nice neutral paint color now throughout. It is three bedrooms and uh, two bathrooms with a finished basement that also has a walkout. And it also has a nice backyard. So let's uh, make sure this look both ways so I don't get hit by a car. And then we'll walk around the exterior first. So the exterior is mostly vinyl. There's your front stairs. There's the side entrance there, which is really the walkout to the basement. And there's the side of the property there. So vinyl's nice and easy to clean and maintain. Like I said, there's your front staircase. And once again, there's a view of the street. So we have a long um, a single driveway here that's paved. So you can certainly fit one vehicle, possibly two, depending on the make and model. Like I said, it does have a finished basement. So there's some windows going into the sort of a, a rec room area or possibly a, a den or an office. There's the side entrance again, which goes into the basement. It is heated with oil. So it's an oil fired uh, forced hot air furnace. So the tenant uh, pays for utilities, which is going to be oil, power, and water. And we have uh, those utility estimates in the ad itself, and then cutting the grass and shoveling the snow. We'll continue on now. So this is the backyard. We also have a shed here just for outside storage. It's an older shed. Nice green area in the back here. So you have the property just behind you, but nice green, sort of a wall of green, nice and peaceful turn right around so you have a sort of an, uh, a stone patio here and there's the deck and there's the back of the property right there and that's where we just came from just a moment ago right there so there's the back and then that's a sliding glass door and that's into the uh, eat-in kitchen area all right so now we'll go right around to the front door and we'll go inside and I'll take you all throughout the property so you can get an idea of the floor plan now up the stairs beautiful day here in Halifax all right so I'm just at the top of the stairs now so there's your these windows go into the living room turn right around so once again there is your view when you exit the property through the front door there you go all right so we'll walk inside, so you have a storm door in there, and this is sort of a little foyer area. You have a closet here, there we go, shelf and a rail. This is where you can put coats and shoes in sort of this area here. And you have some older, really sort of arched windows facing the street there. And that is a, a rolled uh, linoleum floor. So now we're going into the property itself. So it's got hardwood flooring. So this is going to be your living room. So that nice neutral gray color, lots of uh, newer LED lights. You can see one there. This is the thermostat for your forced hot air furnace. So there's one thermostat which controls the entire property, which is normal for a forced hot air system. So there's the front window facing the street. And that's where we just came in through. And there's your view. Most of the windows are vinyl. There we go. All right, so now we will continue on. And again, I'm, I'm still on a hardwood. This goes up to your bedroom uh, floor, which also has your full bath. We'll be going up there in a moment. This is the staircase going into the finished basement. We'll also go down there in a moment. And so now we're going towards the back of the house, opening up to your eat-in kitchen area. So a great size kitchen, lots of um, storage space and workspace here. So I'll go right over to the corner. So it's a combination of hardwood in sort of your dining room area, and then you have tile, ceramic tile in the kitchen area itself. So there's the kitchen. So there's your fridge, your built-in dishwasher, your stainless steel sink. There's your window right there above the sink. There's your stove and range hood unit. 
This is the sliding glass door facing the backyard, which we saw when we were outside. And then you also have additional cabinetry here, just in your sort of your dining room area. All right, so there we go. So I'll walk right over so you can see the view when you're doing your dishes. So there we go. And just the view from right in the kitchen. So that this area here is going to be your eat-in kitchen area. And like I said, lots of uh, newer LED lights, just like that one. So there we go. So now we'll go upstairs. So we're still on a hardwood floor and now we're going to a Berber carpet. So there's a window in the staircase, or in the stairwell or staircase, which brings in natural light. Going upstairs now. So there's another new LED light, more of that neutral gray. Now we're right at the top of the stairs. So we've got three bedrooms and one bathroom. So we've got a bedroom here facing the back of the property, a bedroom here facing the side. There's the staircase that we just saw when we came, when we uh, came upstairs a moment ago. Right here on the left, that is going to be your full bath, and then you have a bedroom facing the street. So we'll start at the front of the property. So there's your nice big closet there on sliding doors. Okay, and chair and rail goes all the way through. Here's your view from the double bank of windows here facing the street. And here's the room itself. And that's where we just came from. So I'll go right over to the corner. So a great sized room. Should be able to facilitate most people's furniture. Okay, now we'll go into the bathroom. So going from a Berber carpet to a ceramic tile. So as soon as you walk in on the left-hand side, you just have some open shelving here for, uh, for towels and whatnot. There's your vanity and your mirror, your light, your exhaust fan, your toilet, and then you have Good sized tub there. It's all, um, uh, this is a tiled surround right up to the ceiling that you can see here. And you also have a window with privacy glass. So let's back right up so you can get a really good idea of that. So that's your shower tub combo. Turn around. So again, there's your toilet and vanity and your mirror slash medicine cabinet and your ceiling fan, your exhaust fan. So there's the full bath on this floor. Continuing on, so now we will see the second bedroom and this is facing the side of the property. So going in, there's the vinyl window and that's just overlooking the driveway. You can see there. And we'll turn right around. That's where we came from a moment ago. And then you have your bifold door here for your closet. So there we go, there's your shelf and rail. So that is the second bedroom. Now we're going to be going into the third and final bedroom. Continuing on. So now we're at the back of the house. Here's the closet for this bedroom. So there's your Berber carpet, your shelf and rail, another new LED light fixture, and you have two windows here. So that's a window facing the back of the property, and that's a window facing the side of the property. And there's the light fixture there. And once again, all Berber carpet throughout this floor. So there's your view. Just facing the neighboring property. <clears throat> Pardon me. Turn right around. And again, the hallway is just to the left there. There's your view of the backyard where we were a moment ago. There you go. All right, so that is the second floor. Now we're going to be going into the basement. And so the basement, that's where your laundry is as well as your rec room and another bathroom. That is a three-piece bathroom where we're gonna be going to now. So just going into the basement so that it, this is a, a pile carpet. There's that side door that uh, we saw when we were outside. Open it up. So that goes right out into the sort of the street level. There we go. Okay, so when you come down the stairs, so there's a staircase where we just came down. Over in this direction, you have a little kitchenette area. So you have a stove and a fridge and a rain shed unit and some cabinetry. There's your washer and your dryer and that's ceramic tile. That's also your utility rooms in that area where your furnace is. 
And over here, you have a recently finished area. It's a rec room, and that's where you also have access to the bathroom. So we'll go in here first. So there's the washer and dryer. And as this opens up, it's a little kitchenette area. So there's another fridge, workstation there, or sort of a work area here, and some lowers and some upper cabinetry. And there's your stove and rain shed unit. And you can have some area here, some past tenants have used that for, uh, uh, they'll put shelving and that type of thing. This is going to be where the furnace is. You can see the furnace there, and there's your hot water tank. And again, estimates on what the utilities are going to cost are in the ad, and they come directly, those estimates are coming directly from the uh, historic usage with, you, with those utility providers, Nova Scotia Power and the oil company. Now we're gonna be going over into the rec room. So solid surface flooring here. We have a dehumidifier because it's summertime. It's <laughs> nice and humid and warm outside. There's where your power panel is right there. There's the two windows facing the driveway, which we saw when we first started. Your light fixture, that's where we just came from. And now we'll go into the second and final bathroom. So from one solid surface floor to another. So there's your toilet, your vanity, your mirror. You have a little storage area here. And then you have a single acrylic shower. And there's your exhaust fan right above. And there's the shower. So there, now you know everything about the property, where it's located, the floor plan, and uh, what's in the local area, and everything else in between. So my name is Chris Ryan. I'm a property manager here in Halifax. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a personal viewing, please contact me. My phone number is 902-830-4465. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.